joined us in the studio with Cozy Powell. Welcome Hi guys. guys. How are you doing? Should we leave now while yeah, we're let's here? Go, <laughs> <laughs> now obviously we can't cover 20 years, Tony, in uh, the time allocated for this spot. Okay. <laughs> you can. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll try and skip some of the past and concentrate on the future. Yeah. Cozy, welcome to the show. Nice to be here, actually. That, nice. a question on everybody's lips. Why did Who you... Who am I? <laughs> 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 Why did you leave Gary Moore? At the beginning of the tour, leaving Gary to cancel some shows. Well, I didn't actually leave. Um, it, 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 I was replaced. Should we say that? It'd be tactful. Uh, we started rehearsals, and um, to be quite honest with you, the, the, the chemistry wasn't working properly. Uh, he was asking me to play certain of the styles of certain tracks his way, and I, I, I don't bend too much on the road. I might do in the studio, but right. on the road, yeah. I just play the way I think is uh, right for the tracks. And unfortunately, it just got worse and worse. And at the end of the day, uh, just about six days before the first show, he decided that he wanted to get somebody to do the whole tour and mm -hmm. do it his way. And so I was replaced. There you have it, viewers. So, now we know. <laughs> so it's not really your fault, not anybody's fault then, really. It's just one of those things that happens. I mean, most people in bands these days, are, you know, we all, we all have problems from time to time, but that just got rather public. So. Mm. Uh, but, you know, he's a great player and I wish him well. But great. yeah, I've worked with quite a lot of. Uh, different bands <laughs> any chance in, in and out of a few staying with a band for quite some time I, I certainly intend to stay with Sabbath I've, I've got no plans to leave and if Tony wants to fire me then that's his problem <laughs> <laughs> he's probably will after a week <laughs> no, I certainly won't be fired that's for sure how do you persuade um, Cozy to join Black Sabbath Tony arm lock I'm still, I'm still <laughs> suffering from it now God almighty <laughs> he's bigger than me anyway so I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to leave well as we were saying earlier we've got with Mary for 20 years <clears throat> and uh I've been, I've been honest him for the last 12 years, anyway, so I think I've just drove him mad <laughs> going off with him. Every time, goes, fancy, fancy this week. <laughs> <laughs> Have you uh, got a second lineup now, Tony? A second lineup? We've got a definite settled lineup now. It's, uh, we're really pleased with it. And, uh, ready to go. Who's the new bass player then? I'm not going to yeah. tell you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, bass player, that's the only part of the moment where we, we, there's a few contracts or things where we, if we announce it at the moment, it might cause problems. So, so. We've got about two or three lined up anyway. Yeah. Well, I put Cozy on the spot at the beginning, I put you on the spot now, Tony. And why do, you, <laughs> why do you think there has been so many different band lineup changes in Sabbath? Oh, <laughs> 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 there you have it, folks. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, I think it's been. He's tight. a pain in the neck, really. I mean, that's, let's be honest. Uh, yeah. He's run out of drummer, so he's had to come to me. <laughs> what can I say? I think I've been trying to get this stable lineup for a long time but uh, it wasn't since the Glen News time it hasn't been like that should have been just a, uh, a solo project that's so, right I remember seven that. star mm -hmm. so um, <clears throat> that's what you liked that's what you wanted that's right just a solo project and then of course the, with the, everybody the record company the old management saying it's got to be a, a Black Sabbath album it's that's right the old oh, album well, the the back. Back. Yeah. it's uh, it sort of messed it up and so it meant I had to go on tour with that band uh, of course it was sort of not being a studio band but they're a touring band it's well, let's have a look at um, your present focus and the last video we received down at MTV. Yeah, we've, okay. we've, got, away, we've got away with all the rubbish now, Lance. We'll talk about the new album, the tour, straight after, no stranger. What do you call it? You bet. I thought you forgot your own channel. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, Tony, let's talk about the new album, Endless Cross. When is it in the shops? Uh, Monday. On oh, Monday. England, Monday, England, 24th in Europe. We've had a sample of the new album, which I think Coles is on. This yeah. is very yeah. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Go a close up of this new album. This is the Bailey Brothers special edition. <laughs> we've, uh, we've, we, you can see the, the the way the shape of the disc here. <laughs> a, lot of, lot of, a lot of thought's gone into that, as you can see. So in um, other words, there's only... It's a limited edition, though. It yeah, is a limited yeah, edition. There's yeah. only two tracks on each side yeah, you can listen to. Two yeah, tracks yeah. Are, that you can actually physically listen to. <laughs> so, um... I think they was really really afraid that the Bailey Brothers was going to boot this, well, boot like right, this yeah. album before it went in the shops Monday, so they chopped off to the That's it. Off. Spawn looks up yeah. part two this year. <laughs> <laughs> on a show. serious note, uh, the album's out full tracks on Monday. Yeah, on Monday. Should be interesting. I wonder what the CD version's like. CD, yeah. CD on that one. CD version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably dances around the room in front of you or something. Tony, do you think this new album will appeal to the younger kids who will probably miss Sabbath on the air day? <clears throat> I certainly hope so. I, I, I think it will. I think it will. The, 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 uh, the way it's been accepted at the moment by everybody that's, that's heard it, um, it seems to have gone down very well. So, it, it, you know, it, it seems like it's an all round from various ages, right? Really. Yeah, I think it's important because, I mean, we, we kept a deliberate low profile last year. We wanted to get the record right, 
and it's, it's very important for the fans to see the band solidified again yeah. with, a, with, a, with a great singer which Tony is and to come back out with some good product and then to go out and play and, and do, do all the theatres that South haven't done yeah. for a while his yeah. voice is powerful on this song it's great isn't it it really is have you done any writing on this album yourself Cosy? yes in fact yeah. Uh, yeah. when we first when for, Tony first asked me to get together we, I came up to his house and we spent a couple of weeks just getting the frameworks of the ideas together and I had a lot of drum ideas which I I wanted Tony to, to listen to, and he's got hundreds and hundreds of riffs, as you as you probably know, the master of the metal riff here. <laughs> you bet. And we just worked together, got the framework of the songs, and they came very quickly. About yeah. uh, three or four days to do the Ooh. to the basic, all the basic tracks. Do all the four tracks that we just seen. It's great um, though. It's great for Cozy because to get involved in the writing as well because it's uh, really it's been a, a, a giant effort, hasn't yeah. it, all the way so through? It's nice it's for me really to get involved good. from the start of the project. Yeah. Start, I mean, I've done so many r albums for other bands where I've come in at the end and just put the drums on, mm. and this time I've actually had a chance to write with Tony. So you got the, a big feel towards you're yeah. part of the actual band. I think oh, yeah. it, it, I yeah. think it really makes a lot of difference if everybody can get involved and really put their little. On it. So when, when can we see you guys on the road? Then I'm sure a lot of your fans in Europe's waiting for you. Yeah, well we do America uh, starting in June, isn't it? June yeah. for about five weeks, and then uh, we're in Europe after that. I think Japan, and then then Europe. So yeah. it'll be around September. Uh, September. They're talking, they're, there's dates gone in now in, in September yeah. and October yeah. for Europe, and I think they're going to get extended because there's a lot of interest. We've just yeah. done a quick promotional tour around Europe and Italy and France, Germany, yeah. everywhere. And there's a lot of interest for us to, to do to work over there. Nashville will be playing in England. Yeah. And uh, I think there's even more dates being added as we speak. As we speak. Yeah. yeah. Well, what, sort of a, what sort of a road show can we expect? Any special effects? So, I mean, <laughs> Fly, flying gravestones. <laughs> Ed, endless albums. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some, albums. Bands have had, some bands have had to cut down on, on the budget, though. Seriously, Tony. Um, <clears throat> probably they have, yeah. I, we're not sort of going out sort of saying, well, we're going to have big monsters coming out the wall and stuff. The main thing on this tour is to get over the music to the kids and, and get together with the kids and make it a, mm. an exchange, not the band there and the kids there. That's know. right. Do you feel as an individual you've had a lot of pressure to live up to the Black Sabbath name? Um, I suppose it's pressure in some ways, but I don't, you know, I, I just carry on with it because I, because I believe in it really. And He's uh, a stubborn sod, isn't he? He is. <laughs> I just am, I'm just stubborn, I won't pack up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still have any contact or friendship with your former vocalist, Ozzy Dio and Gillen? <laughs> yeah, funny enough, I, sp I spoke to um, Gillen. Uh, he called me up about when he got a copy of this album. Oh, he's like, got some spare time on his hands now, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. <laughs> 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 and uh, he, was, uh, he's, he was raving about it, he loves it. And as far as Ozzy goes, I haven't seen him since uh, Live Aid, but I suppose if I see him, we'll all... Have a drink? Have a drink, probably. Very oh, yeah, interesting. He knows how to do that. <laughs> 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 well, we, we look forward to seeing you guys on the road, and uh, I'm sure you can answer all your critics with this new album. Oh, we're definitely out to, uh, we mean it this time, and we've always meant to, but we mean to get it the point over. Ah, oh, just a quick question for Corsair. I understand uh, you're into motorsports. Yeah, a lot of, well, I used to do a lot of motor racing. I've got switched from cars to bikes now, because cars have got a bit posy, so. <laughs> so you can zoom down. Let, let all the Grand Prix boys get on with it, you know. Back to the bikes for me, because this <laughs> year is the best Grand Prix bike scene I've ever, ever seen it. Well, Brilliant. Um, you yeah, be careful on your bike, cause they want to oh, no see chance. you be sat on <laughs> that drum. Yeah, on the tour, don't we? Yeah, yeah. I'm, take, I'm taking it on the tour as well. Oh, yeah, great. do the tour on the bike. Yeah, look well, forward to that. Look forward to looking at your new video as well. Yeah. So good luck with the tour. Good luck with the album. You've answered a lot of critics. Good reviews already for the album. Bye, the Headless Cross. Yes. And this is the Headless. Cross.